I read the results of that poll myself. Bill Blair may be losing the argument over the border, but he says it's not because of the facts. It is important that we address many of the misconceptions and, and misinformation that Canadians have heard that quite frankly causes a fear. A fear not based on the reality, but a fear on the rhetoric. Whether it's reality or rhetoric, the polls suggest the Liberals have a problem on their hands. William Sterling Blair, Minister... And it reveals why Bill Blair was moved into the specifically created Ministry of Border Security. The Liberals were losing this PR battle to the Conservatives, who trampled the argument that this is a challenge, not a crisis. I think any time you have a government that allows 30,000 people uh, over the course of a short period of time to come into Canada illegally, the impact that that has, that, that is a crisis. And Canadians have a crisis of confidence in their government right now. The fact is that things are getting better at the border, not worse. The number of illegal border crossings is going down, but people are still coming and the costs keep climbing. Since early last year, Ottawa has spent at least $270 million to deal with the influx. Ontarians are pro-immigration, but the current crisis has tested their patience. The new Ontario Conservative government has joined their federal cousins in slamming Ottawa's response. And even though what's happening here is nowhere near a crisis in global terms, in domestic terms it's definitely a political problem. There's a real uh, information gap here and we have to do a better job in filling that gap. It's a blow to the Trudeau government brand which loudly sells Canada as a welcoming country. Trudeau famously wrapped Syrian refugees in new winter coats when they arrived here. But this poll also suggests more Canadians trust Andrew Scheer to get it right when it comes to people crossing the border than trust the Prime Minister. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. And that poll, by the way, was done online between July 25th and 30th. 1,500 people took part, and there is a margin of error of plus or minus 2.5 percentage points, 19 times out of 20. That's the fine print. Now, you heard David say illegal crossings are going down. So let's look at a snapshot over time. The numbers spiked dramatically last summer as the Trump administration clamped down on U.S. borders. It reached a high of more than 5,300 in the month of September. Since then, the trend has been down. The number fell from 2,700 this April to 2,200 in May to 1,200 in June. 